Okay, so I apologize for this being about theory, but I'm uh, reassuring you that it will be relevant theory with uh, concrete implications for policy and empirical work as well. Uh, Johannes Spinewijn. I'm an assistant professor at the uh, London School of Economics. I'm here at this conference because I won the Austin Robinson Prize. What is driving insurance choices? What is determining that some individuals are buying insurance and some individuals are not buying insurance? And this can go from health insurance to car insurance to home insurance and so on. Insurance decisions are often very important decisions. You can think about what's happening in the US. It's a worry to many of us that so many individuals decide not to buy insurance or are like remain uninsured. By not being insured, they're exposed to often very significant risks that they shouldn't be exposed to. There is this puzzle that has received a lot of attention. It's not always true that more risky individuals are buying more insurance. Take an example. Let's take two neighbors in a coastal area in the west of England, for instance. They face exactly the same risk of being hit by flooding, but they may perceive this risk very differently. One of the two individuals could care less about the risk exposure and therefore decide to live closer to the coastline and at the same time not buy any insurance because he doesn't care about the risk exposure. So I come with an alternative explanation why he decides to live close to the coastline and not to buy insurance, maybe because he's just not aware of the risk that he's being exposed to. And making the distinction between the two is, I believe, crucial to think about policy, to think about welfare. So it's not because they don't care about the risk exposure, but because they're not aware about the risk exposure. So that tells us that we need to rethink things we look at to decide whether markets are providing too little or too much insurance. But it also opens the opportunity for new policies for instance, rather than thinking about subsidizing insurance or mandating individuals to buy insurance, we could also think about providing better information to individuals and make them better in thinking about the risk they're being exposed to and therefore improving their choices.